Hi guys, how are we doing? Uh, I've just been looking at um, an article on NHK that's just that's just been released. Uh, basically, what they what they're saying is they've found well they've detected radiation in the reactor one building of between um, what was it between three and four thousand millisieverts uh, per hour. So there's between three and four thousand millisieverts per hour being um, emitted uh, from steam that's coming from the basement of the reactor number two building. Uh, the steam was steam's coming up out the crack out of a crack uh, in the, in the floor. Um, now what the thing is, they reckon that the water in the basement is 50 degrees. So what's going on if that water's heating up in the basement of reactor number one? Why is water heating up? in the basement of reactor number one. Why would water heat up um, in an area like that if there was nothing in that area that was uh, heating that water up? Now what would heat water up in an area like that? Nuclear fuel. I mean, this is this is the this is the thing. Um, this is, this this is this is like yet another clear indication that there is a f serious serious uh, breach of containment at reactor number one. So you've got you've got radiation being emitted between uh, three thousand and four thousand millisieverts per hour outside of any containment. So there isn't any containment for this. So you've got three to four sieverts of radiation flown without any containment and the water that it's coming from is heating up so what's happening is the is the water in the react in the reactor containment vessel being heated there is it being heated in the turp in the uh, basement how is this water uh, being heated when it's in the basement of the number one to of the number one reactor uh, So here's a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. Um, so there's about two, there's about roughly 25,000 tons, um, maybe it's a, little, a bit more now, in the basement of reactor number one. And it's been there for quite a while, so you would think that that water would have cooled down because it's quite easy for, I mean, this is it. If you have a cup of tea, if, you get, if you've got a pint pot with tea in it and you leave it on the side uh, for half an hour or so the water starts to cool down doesn't it now that now the thing is it's like in that contain that uh, in that basement the water's been there for weeks so it should be cold now shouldn't it so why is the water in the basement of the reactor number one building not cold Think of, just just think about it. Um, I mean, you can see the video. You can see the steam bellowing from this crack in the in the floor. Yeah. So this is it. They've got they've got that they've got that reading of three four thousand millisieverts from the air around where the steam is coming from. So if that's what it's like there, what's it like in the basement? where all that water is. Yeah. Anyway, that's all I've got for now. Take care, man. Bye.